<laughs> what in the world is happening? There we go. There we go. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe a little higher, yeah. I got a little overzealous. You're good. Okay. Right there. That's good. Adjust those mics. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zami, I'm a junior. I'm Cass, and I'm a senior. I'm Alec, I'm also a senior. I'm Lindsay, I'm a sophomore, and we're from Millard South. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas! That was wrong. And this is our poem, Movie Night. Yes, drop that. Movie what? Night! So, what do y'all want to watch tonight? Let's watch something scary. How about that new movie, Split? I've heard great things about it. Kevin has 23 distinct personalities. The 24th is about to be unleashed. <laughs> Dissociative Identity Disorder, I have nine alters, which is short for alternate personalities. They all have their own thoughts, thoughts beliefs, beliefs, and interests. interests. They're sentient. We know each other exists. It isn't some mystery to me. When Kevin is away, the personalities come out to play, and they kidnap three girls. Boy! My alters are no more likely to be violent than you. I'm just a kid. I didn't ask for this. What the directors at Split don't realize is that DID is a serious mental disorder. Not, Not a plot device, device for your crappy horror, horror flick. You can't go wrong with a Disney movie. But there's no such thing as happily ever after. When the credits roll, my anxiety doesn't just end with the movie. I can't just chill, and I can't just let it go. No magical kiss is going to take away the urge to hyperventilate every time I don't understand an assignment. Unlike Elsa, I don't have any gloves to hide my anxiety. I have a chemical imbalance in my brain, and it doesn't really work that way. Willing to cope with something that doesn't just magically go away doesn't make me weak. It, it makes, makes me strong. strong. Happily ever after isn't the end goal. It's a constant battle. And, and the, the battle, battle is worth fighting. fighting. Speaking of fighting, how about a superhero movie? There are so many to choose from. Spider-Man, Iron Man, <laughs> Superman, <laughs> Batman. But why are they all dudes, man? I want a hero like me to be Captain America. I want to look up at the screen and see myself as a young heroine. From damsel in distress to, to, to crime-fighting machine. machine. Well, there's always Wonder Woman. No, not like Wonder Woman. I want a suit that protects my behind instead of showing it off. But if I don't have... But if I don't have perky breasts or a blemish-free face, I'm probably the witch in a Disney fairy tale. Why is it that us girls are 26% more likely to be shown partially naked? Most of whom are 12 to 20 years old. According to Hollywood, a woman's life isn't fulfilled if she doesn't have a strong man on her arm. TV teaches little girls they're better off. Silent and sexy. That's why only 30% of speaking characters are women. When will Hollywood show me as, as more than a walking pair of breasts to drool over? Hollywood won't get a dime from us. Because until the script changes, everyone will think he's a violent killer. Everyone will treat anxiety like an afterthought. Everyone will treat women as sexy sidekicks. Hollywood, get your act together! And then maybe all of us can enjoy movie night. Woo!